was approved uh, when we had written and approved when we had the little park operations in the area. Um, and we wanted to update it both for governance reasons as well as to reflect um, the experience that we've had under our belt uh, with operations. And so <coughs> uh, there are some significant changes to make it, I think, just much clearer. Um, and, and hopefully it was clear to you in reading through it. Um, the, the content changes were a couple, and I just wanted to highlight those, and then um, we've all had it, and so um, if there are questions, happy to take those. Um, one is wanted to needed to adjust to match the current governance. So um, instead of an executive committee, have um, uh, procurements go to a finance audit and risk management. Um, second of all, wanted to adjust uh, the threshold somewhat to reflect um, the experience that we've had today. Um, formerly, for example, uh, all procurements over $100,000 would be done in public. Now, procurements um, uh, of 45000 or more will be done in public. Um, and uh, we also wanted to add in um, a section dealing with uh, contract adjustment. The former procurement policy did not make, uh, did not specify how uh, contract increase or change should be handled. And so now that <coughs> in there with protocols about what the approvals are. So those are some of the, the content changes. Uh, I'm happy to, to answer any questions. We will keep this with the Finance Audit Risk Management Committee, and I don't know if I want to say anything particular about that, but um, that group offered some concrete feedback as well. Yeah, I think we just, um, we all read it separately before then, and we made some suggestions, um, although there were very few, because we think this is not a so uh, we're very happy to. Yes, Chris? That's a provision. The question was why do um, contracts with government agencies have special uh, have special rules? Um, and that's a provision we didn't change. That was one that was in the um, in the original uh, procurement policy. Um, language I don't think changed at all. Um, I think the idea is that it was um, you know, that, that procurement policy is about um, procuring goods and services with best value, and that. Um, many, to, to most situations with uh, governments, would have a very different procurement process than go out to three bidders. It would be a contract written for something specific. And so the guarantee to provide the best value. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, and, uh, and so it was made a specific exemption because it was not going to private companies securing different bids and so on. Mostly, Chris, from, from the Greenway's point of view, it's what DOT gives us as in-kind support um, that you know that we have with, with contracts for their um, you know the, the rent on the the, uh, the office space and utilities and that kind of thing. We actually don't contract with the government on anything that I can think of other than what they're giving to us in kind. Yeah, I'm not in. In my um, three years, I'm not I'm not aware of any contract that we have done. We've done various agreements with the National Park Service about the um, or the pavilion or other things like that, but I'm not aware of any contract that we've done in a procurement sense. We have yeah, yeah Stephen corroborating that. Yeah, I must admit that when I was looking at it, I was looking at the red line version. Oh, um, let me repeat. Um, Chris just was reading from the policy um, and saying that it's very sweeping, that it's the Commonwealth, the city, you know, it names of many agencies. Um, and because it was the same as what we've had, I must say I didn't focus on it. But if you want to make, if you want to make a, a suggestion that we eliminate that, um, or that we, we don't have that. I don't know if it's a requirement 
um, that we have that in there. But if it's not, we can certainly change it. How do other people feel about it? I understand your point. I'd like I'd like to vote the policy with with maybe the exception that we'll um, take that and come back with with either an explanation that we, that this is necessary or that we'll change it um, at the next board meeting. But we've got this this thing that we don't have a good procedure for if a contract has a change order that goes over. Um, and none of us feel really good about that. So one of the real reasons, and this is just such a stronger policy in terms of what needs to come to the board and what needs to go different places. But I hate to put it off um, if, if that's okay with people. But, but we will take a look at that, Chris, and we'll come back at the next board meeting if that's okay. Okay. Any other um, comments on this from here? So I mean, for purposes of voting, that could be it is in right now, and we will take a look at it and come back with an explanation, and we'll have another chance to vote on that that clause on the next board meeting. That's my proposal. I think that sounds like you did the committee members and the committee. There's some provisions in here that really are much more beneficial for the government state. And I think it's also a policy that's easier to understand. So, as Jesse said before you arrived, the original policy was adopted back when, now we've got some experience with our belt and so it's just a policy. And perhaps worth reiterating, if that, that provision specifically is in place under the current policy, and so if this were tabled, we still would have in place a procurement policy exemption program for um, the government. And so if this is believed to be the improvement that we think that it is, um, I think it's worth putting in place even with the uh, stipulation that we will be examining. So with that change, that we will we will approve this policy, but um, we will come back to you um, at the next board meeting with um, either an explanation or a suggestion that we take that or just a discussion of it. Um, are there any other changes or um, questions on the policy? Okay. Um, may I have a motion to accept? <coughs> Second. Second. Okay. Any other discussion? Okay. All the roll. All those approved the okay government policy document for procurement. President Bench? Chris Benke? Yes. James Chan? Yes. Charles Cohen? Chris Hinchin? Yes. Bob Gore? Yes. Phil Gurney? Yes. Megan Hunt? Suzanne McCoy? Yes. Woody Lynn? Yes. Chris Van Brennan? Yes. George Murray? Yes. Young Park? Yes. Jane Pavolardo? John Perry? Yes. And Kevin Chinchus. Yes. Thank you. Um, the next policy that we have to do is um, the conflict of interest policy. Um, again, this was um, the one that we, we started before we were operating the park um, that, that we've been we've been using. Um, it was very long and, and very um, a lot of words. Um, and we, we tried to shorten it and make it um, so that it was clear and you didn't get lost in the verbiage um, in terms of what was kind of, uh, of interest. So that really is, I think, um, the way to clean it up. Jeff, if you want to say anything about that? I think uh, also informally contained the Gitch policy, which is the program's third um, item here. That Gitch policy, uh, the, the advice from council was that it made no sense for the Gitch policy as part of the conflict of interest policy, it made sense to separate it out and have that tailored more specifically um, with clearer limits and, uh, in fact, slightly lower limits and and, uh, uh, and make it that signed by staff as opposed to the conflict of interest policy, which is signed by uh, senior staff as well as board. Um, so, what was formerly one is now. Did you have any questions on, on either of those policies? Um, then I might just ask for a vote concurrent because we broke out the one policy into two. Um, and rather than making me go through, if, if there's no questions on anything, <coughs> could, I, could I have a motion to accept both policies? So moved. Thank you. Any further discussion? Okay. Mr. Bench? 